encouraging word of today. Today is Monday, February the 8th, and we're going to pick up here in Micah chapter 6. And in Micah chapter 6, you're going to be able to see that God really does see everything that's going on at all times. Nothing escapes his sight. As he said, there's nothing hidden that shall not be uncovered. He said, be sure that your sin shall find you out. He said, be sure that sin is fun but for a season, and then uh, destruction comes. And so uh, we get to see that God is the um, God of, of not just the, the just but also the unjust, and he's going to deal with them in his own time and in his own way. And he comes to Israel here in chapter 6 after telling him, this is what I require. I don't require sacrifice and, and burnt offerings. What I require is obedience. What I require, as the old hymn used to say, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. There's no other way. We must trust and obey the Lord. It's to love mercy and to do justly and to walk humbly before our God. That is what God requires of us, to live out the, the principles that he has provided for us to be able to be placed in the side of our lives. And the fruits of the Spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, temper, meekness, gentleness, uh, and self-control. And so when we look at the fruits of the Spirit and we look at our world, we recognize very quickly that we're not displaying the fruits of the Spirit across the board. Uh, there's hardly, most, most of them are actually just the opposite. We don't have self-control. We're not meek. We're not gentle. Uh, we don't have love and and we don't have joy and we don't have peace. Our nation does not have those things because we don't have the truth of God in our hearts. And so we're acting out differently, but God sees it. And in verse 9, he comes along and says these words. So don't think that if you are like me and you recognize the signs of the times and you recognize uh, the uh, wickedness behind those who have been placed in power. But remember, they've been placed in power because God is using them as a tool. But when God has finished using them for the purposes that which he had, he uh, foreordained and saw and, 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 and purposed, then he will do with them also what he's doing with us. Bring, he's trying to get our attention to bring us back to him. But the ones he uses to bring, uh, bring this judgment upon the church, as he said, the judgment must start at the house of God. And so he's trying to get his people to turn back and to come back to him. Uh, but these ones whom he's dealing with will not have that opportunity. But the voice of the Lord, verse 9, says these words, The voice, the Lord's voice, voice crieth unto the city, and the man that hath wisdom shall see thy name. And so he says, man, the Lord is crying unto us, and he's, he's hollering loud and clear, and he's declaring his name. And yet he says, hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it? And he says, you better wake up, you better pay attention this is a spiritual issue. It's not a fleshly issue. It's a spiritual issue. And he said, the rod has come. And you better pay attention to who has appointed the rod. And as I say before, and say again, if God be for you, who can be against you? But if God be against you, who can be for you? If God is your problem, God is also your only solution. And he's crying out to us and saying, look at the rod and understand who has brought the rod but notice what he says about those who bring the rod are there yet the treasures of the wickedness and the house of wicked and the scant measures that is an abominable shall i count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights and this is exactly where our government is they are full of wickedness uh they are they are um full of um abominable acts before God. And he says, shall I count them pure with wicked balances, with false balances? I'm going to rob from the from the, from the the people to make myself wit, rich. And certainly that's what we see uh, doing here, see our government doing here. And he says, with the bags of deceitful weights. Now this one certainly you'll know um, to be true as you watch the news and as you listen to the double standards that are going on in our nation with this um, with this leftist uh, agenda, listen to what he says. He says, he says, for the rich men, therefore, are full of violence. What they do is stir up strife. They continue to pour it out. And, and then he says, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. <laughs> and they're speaking lies back to back to back to back, yet thinking that what they're doing is good. And, uh, but God sees it all. And then I love this. He says, not only have they spoken lies, he said, their tongues, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Their tongue is deceitful 
in their mouth. They're being fooled by their own self. And one day, God, the God of heaven and earth is going to step out on the clouds of glory. And he's going to come and he's going to put it all in its place. The king of righteousness shall come and he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall do away with this type of wickedness, this type of evil. God is going to wipe this off the face of the planet. He's going to redeem and restore everything that has been broken. And you and I get to sit back today and we watch this and, and the Lord's voice crieth unto the city. The Lord is crying right now saying, please turn and come back. Please turn and see me. Please turn and seek my face. And I promise you, I will provide for you safety. I will be a refuge that you can run into and be safe. And so I pray today that you go forth mildly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and know that he sees all and that you are encouraged.